Mm. Right, something a bit different um, this afternoon. I've just been sort of messing around really today. Um, I thought I'd better get this on tape, otherwise I'll forget what I'm doing. And I may as well show everyone out there. So what I've got here is, um, well, it's essentially water, but I've tinged it with yellow just so I can see what's going on, um, see where it's going on the paint, because it looks random what I'm doing, but it's actually quite specific. I'm actually, um, I spent all day working out how to do what I'm doing here, um, and the only way I've worked out I can do it is to be painting two pictures simultaneously, so that I can um, kind of tweak the tones and colours. So the one on the left is going to be um, sort of a bit more experimental and the one on the right will end up being exactly what I'm after, hopefully. It's a woodland scene where you've seen it at the beginning of the uh, video. So try and get this into 15 minutes if I can. So this is cadmium yellow. Uh, neat paint, neat when I say neat in the colour, I haven't changed the colour. Because we're painting, uh, we, me, I am painting wet on wet in this video. Um, I tend to keep the colours a bit purer because they'll be mixing on the um, on the paper a lot more. So that a lot of the mixing here will occur on the paper. The other thing I'm going to show you today is um, kind of how you can use a hairdryer which is what I'm going to do now. What I'm going to do is dry a central patch and each of these pictures, dry a central patch in each of these uh, paintings. So the second um, tone I've got is a cerulean blue with, um, with a bit of cadmium in, so it's uh, like a very greeny blue. And see what we can do. So some area of this some areas of this um paper are wet and some are dry. So there's sort of a massive uh, amount of control chance here. Using a sort of different brush angle there. I'll do a video someday about brush angles. It makes a massive difference. Okay, I'll try something different here. Um, So I'll dry those again. So what I've tended to do is dry the left and top. I've dried sort of these areas of the paint in sort of C shape. So we've still got wet paint on the um, on the right hand side of them. So this is a darker blue now. Um, I've got cobalt and cadmium. A very again, it's a very green blue. I'm working from top to bottom because I'm using trying to use the uh, the paint just to let it fall down
so the paint's actually still bleeding in here. It's it's a it's a it's moving into the wet paint. That's fine. I mean, this is it's all about sort of controlling uh, chance. Okay, so I'll move over here and try something again. Try something a bit different this side. moving into wet paint here so it'll, it'll immediately become lighter So I'll dry those up again. Okay, so I'm going into a darker um, paint now. I've got ultramarine and cadmium. Again, um, bias more towards the blue side of green. It's nearly dry. They're both nearly dry, but not quite. Um, and I'm doing that for a reason. I'd just like to keep maybe a few sort of um, elements of chance. Chance paint encounters. going to dry this bit So tempting to sort of fiddle with it, but I think that's it. I move over here and I'm going to do roughly the same thing. I'm just going to dry that up a bit. <clears throat> so at this point, um, while the paper might appear dry, some of it's wet, but this looks dry, but it's 
feels dry to the touch, but as soon as I put paint on that, um, we'll get paint lifting back out because the layer of the paper underneath will still be wet, so I should still be able to get some blurred edges off it. Hopefully. I'm going to have to dry this left hand side. So you can see with a, a picture like this how it's it's really about totally controlling um, the paper. That's why I, I use a hair dryer. I mean, I'm an mean absolute control of how dry the paper is which is crucial because the wetness of the paper is a variable and I don't need or well I do need them but I need to control that variable when I'm doing this picture otherwise I just wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing So here they are, here's the two paintings, um, still wet, similar but different, um, I've been, so that took 17 minutes to paint them both, however it hasn't, it's taken me 8 hours because I've spent, there's two more up there, plus another 20 um, that I've got, I've just been kind of working out what to do and a lot of it was really mixing up the the colours and getting those tones just perfectly balanced against each other and the right sort of blend of blue basically in the yellow and yeah so that's just another way you can paint I mean these will go somewhere in terms of I'll move this idea on probably upscale it and uh, develop it somehow into something hopefully it'll end up